Hi there, it's Rachel from scrapitandhappy.blogspot.com with another when, Wedding Wednesday layout video. And uh, I thought what I'd do is officially kick off my Wedding Wednesday layout series. Uh, the layouts that I did previously in the previous video number one and two were layouts that I did actually for my in-laws album. And now this is actually the start of my very own wedding album and I can't believe I'm even starting this but I'm sharing it with you and I've had such positive feedback that I'm excited to get going on it. So this is the 12 by 12 album that I purchased and it's actually an American Crafts binder style album so I bought this because it's so much easier to add photos in. However I was a little disappointed that it didn't come with paper inside the album and the pages aren't quite as thick as I would like them so um, it's open now. I have to go forth and use it. I really like the black color and you can see what I've gone ahead and done already is personalize it with this um, picture of uh, my husband and I um, wedding band on top of my bouquet. So um, this is the album. I'm going to probably keep this in a safe covered place so that the black doesn't get damaged as I work through this. So I'm going to put this off to the side now and we'll get started with today's layout. So today's layout is the first page um, of my album and I always have such a hard time deciding what I'm going to do for a layout. But um, I came up with something and uh, <laughs> I think I'm pretty happy with the results, but just before I get going with this, I'm going to show you what I've gone ahead and done to organize my materials because my goal is to use what I have and I have bought quite a bit with the intent that I was going to make my album. I just wanted to show you how I organized it. So I have it in one of these purple cases that doesn't even close it so full and I have pictures, embellishments, um, pattern paper that I specifically bought for the album. You can see the theme is um, a lot of it's black and white, a hint of green, which also was a theme color. Um, and then this paper pack, I was pretty excited. I got it as a Christmas present from my mom. There's also a scrapbooker and it's black current and it, it has the pinkish purple tone and black and white. So this is going to come in very handy for my album. And then I also went through my paper um, drawers and pulled out any pattern paper that I thought might work for the album. So this one is from <coughs> um, an all glittered up pack. Uh, I have some other papers here from that same pack, black and white and silver, and my stickers and everything's all in here. So I'm going to keep that there so uh, I know and start using what I have. So. That's where I got some of these goodies from today for my layout. So I, let's get started. So I'm starting off, as I said, with a 12 by 12 um, intro layout today. And I always find those so hard because I don't know what to do for the first page, but I want to sort of say it's a wedding album. But when you look at the front cover of that book, you kind of know that it's a wedding album already. But I think um, I've gone ahead and decided to use this um, picture of the church that we got married at because it's such a quaint um, church. Now this is what the photographer, the assistant photographer took before uh, everybody got there and uh, I thought I would use that just as the basis at the, of the start of our uh, wedding. So what I went ahead and did is cut this cardstock. It's 11 by 9.5 and then I rent around, and I don't know if you, it's going to show up very well in the photos here, but I went or in the camera. But I went ahead and uh, stitched with black ink, um, black ink. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to ink the edges because I'm really wanting to take the time for those extra little details with the, this album because it just makes a world of world of difference. And this is basil bling. This paper is actually leftover paper from the wedding invitations that I made. So this is the exact color that I use for my wedding invitation. So I thought that would be a fun way to start this album. 
So I've gone ahead and inked the edges. And this is actually going to get put right up against the side down here, closer to the bottom. So I would say I'm about an inch from the bottom of my layout. And I don't, I guess, have it quite in view. Okay, um, I'll try this camera angle. I'm hoping it's not too far away. But um, you can see now that I've just put it down at an uh, inch from the bottom. And I'm just going to use my ATG gun to adhere it down. And I'm just going to put that right up against the edge, just like that. And put it to the side. And then I'm going to take these strips. Now this is a 3 quarters of an inch by 12. And this one is also 3 quarters of an inch by 12. And I am putting these like this and then I have this sticker of these pretty metallic pictures Mrs. Grossman's design and I believe it or not I've had these from the very beginning of when I first started scrapbooking and it was one of those times when I was actually um, a teenager then not making very much money and I bought them and then I didn't want to use them and saved them for a special album well <laughs> I don't know how much more special you can get um, other than this album, so I think it's about time that I use these stickers. And these strips of paper are just from my scraps from the album that I made for my in-laws for Christmas. And I just use that to, to uh, cut the strips. And I'm just going to go down here, my ATG, and do another one. Now I want the sparkle to go in between these two. So I'm going to put this one down like that. And I'm using my grid to line up, well, I'm trying to use my grid to line up the paper so that it's straight across. And then these are my stickers. Now I always find these hard to do to get them straight um, so I'm going to do that off camera so you don't hear me cursing or anything like that. I'll be right back. Okay, there you go. You can see that I've put the glitter stickers all along the bottom there. And um, there is um, that layout. Then my picture is going to go down here so that you can see just a bit of the strips on each side. And I think I'm just going to go ahead right now and adhere that down. You can see on both the purple paper and the photo, I went ahead and used my half inch Zutter corner rounder to corner around the edges. And I just thought that that looked prettier with this particular um, layout design that I'm using. Okay, and then I have used my storybook cartridge and my gypsy and I cut out um, the date of my wedding. So I am just going to go ahead and attach those down and center them across. And this paper that I used to cut these out with is a um, DC WV shimmer stack. Um, that was also a Christmas present from my mom and dad, my mom who's a scrapper, and she knew that I wanted to start this album, so I think she bought this with these in mind, so I'm going to make sure I use it. Okay, so we'll just get those centered on there. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my Zig two-way pen to glue those down.
Okay, so there is the finished title. <clears throat> and then I went ahead and did some of these uh, hearts. And I cut these out from George and Basic Shapes on my Gypsy, and I cut them and scaled them to give the look that I want. And I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is cuddle bug some of these using the Swiss Dots folder. So I'll be right back to do that. Okay, so I've gone ahead and used the Swiss Dots embossing folder on the heart, and I've also inked the edges. And the first one is just going to go there like that. Um, the one over top of it is also going to be pop dotted and I'm just going to overlap that. It's done in the same shimmer as the 8. Then I'm going to take and do this one over here over top of the white and again <coughs> excuse me I'm going to take the silver and put a pop dot on that and overlap that one and I have another heart that's been Swiss dots or Swiss dotted But I'm just going to put, hmm, I think I'm going to put this one over here like so. And I have one little glass heart and I'm going to put down beside it for my grouping. It hasn't been Swiss dotted and this one We'll go over here, and that will be my little grouping of three. And then last but not least, I had these in my stash that somebody gave me that they didn't use from their wedding album. And I have this one here that's called Our Wedding. It's Black Wedding Day, and it's just black and white, a little chipboard piece. And I'm just going to subtly put that right over there. So a really simple layout today. Um, I always find title pages for an album something really hard to do but um, I have another wedding layout for you and myself done as I work towards my goal of completing my wedding album and so thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Let's Get Crafty and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.